summer global adventure series. Call for details. Catch Family Law tonight on CBS. It's all here. What did you find out about the picture? The picture? The one Stenbeck's lawyer gave to Craig. You have to have found out who's in it by now. There's not much to tell. Really? Because the way Craig was holding on to it, I figured it had to be something pretty major. Yeah, well, all I know is whoever sent me that photo was trying to hurt me. But it didn't work. Is it really that important to you? You keep asking about it. Well, after all we went through to get the lawyer to tell you what was in the envelope, I'm, I'm a little curious. I mean, you said you'd tell me when we met tonight, and since we've been working so closely together, I just assumed you'd keep your word. Okay. Okay. Sure. Thank you. I hope this means you're starting to trust me. So what happened? What did you find out about the picture? Everything I need to know. And the whole thing turned out to be... a bust. What? It was a dead end, Carly. That picture meant nothing to me. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, I'm coming. Hang on. Hang on! Hey, Lily, this is unexpected. Yeah, I'm sorry, I would have called, but there wasn't time. Everything all right? No, not at all. Well, come on in, tell me about it. Um, there isn't really time for that either. I thought you could come with me in the car and I could explain everything to you. Are you busy? I'm just doing some reading, trying to come up to speed on my return to the legal profession. Well, good, because this is a legal matter. You in some kind of trouble? No, not me at all. Very dear friend of mine, and we only have a few hours to save him. Oh! Oh, wow! Just don't see many of you around here, do you? INS agent, Agent uh, Halliwell. Trying to locate an alien that's been residing in Oakdale illegally for the past several months. I was hoping you could help us track him down. Absolutely, of course. Anything the department can do to help you. What's, uh, what's his name? Simon Frazier. Frazier. Ring a bell? Uh, yeah, actually, it does sound vaguely familiar. You are Katie Peretti's sister, aren't you? Yes. Then Simon Frazier should be more than vaguely familiar. A lot more. Where is she? This is insane. Why did I let her talk me into this? I should have just turned myself in. It's about time.
I have a friend, a very, very dear friend, who came to the States on the visa waiver program. He missed his expiration date, and he stayed longer than the six months he was allowed to. That's a pretty serious oversight. I know, I know. And the INS said when they found him, they were going to deport him without a hearing. But they came to my house this morning, and they said they couldn't find him anywhere. So I went to his place, and he had a message on his answering machine from the Carroll County Clerk's Office saying he had a, some sort of court date for later this evening. Any idea what this is about, or if your friend's going to be there? No, I'm, I'm hoping the INS came to their senses, and they're going to reschedule a hearing for him. Well, I'd love to help you, but immigration is really not my area, and... Frankly, I don't see why a county court would be handling this type of case. They normally don't, so you must be missing some information. No, no, he has to be at the courthouse. Please, Tom, I'll pay you. I'll do anything, anything to keep Simon from being deported to Australia. Australia? Wait a second. Uh, your friend Simon, is this the man that Katie's been so worked up about? Katie? Katie Peretti, your sister-in-law? What, what does she have to do with Simon? Apparently a lot. She was here just a few days ago giving me almost the exact same story about trying to keep a friend from Australia from being oh, deported. Oh, friend? She doesn't even know Simon. Well, that's not the impression I got. See, she was asking me the legal ramifications of marrying him. Hey, look at this. Check this out. Yeah, get the flashlight. Get the flashlight. Yeah. Never has so much power gone into our battery. Introducing Duracell Ultra. With new M3 technology, it's the most powerful alkaline battery in the world. 32, 33, 34, 45, 46, 47, 50, 451, Cold symptoms keeping you awake? What? Get NyQuil, the nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever, so you can get the sleep you need to feel better medicine. Little body, foo, foo. <coughs> we'll find that A and B. Because we lost nine, we can open it. At least you'll feel smart when the car insurance bill arrives. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Mr. Gecko. This is my final plea. I am a gecko. Not to be confused with GEICO, which could save you hundreds on car insurance. So stop calling me. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Ready Whip is the only leading whip topping that's made from real cream. Our inspectors wouldn't have it any other way. Ready Whip. The real seal means real cream. Imagine the fun. New musical touch and crawl babies. Hug a man, touch a man, hey, wait for me. Touch him again for lights and melody. New musical touch and crawl babies. Mickey and Minnie crawling with me. Imagine the fun. Catch the holiday spirit this month on Day with Tom Hanks, George Clooney, Matt Damon, Helen Hunt, Alec Baldwin, and Sean Connery. All this month. And tonight, don't miss Mel Gibson. How to cope with the stress of too much work. Tomorrow on The Early Show. This may sound harsh, Tom. Katie is Margot's sister, but Simon would never marry somebody like Katie. She's obviously living in some sort of fantasy world again. Yeah, well, you'll get no argument from me, you know, when Katie sets her mind on something or someone. Reality rarely plays a major part. Well, that's the part I don't understand. Why would she set her mind on Simon? Well, does he own shares of a television station, or does he have pull at major networks? I don't think they even know, barely know each other. I saw her at his garage. Maybe... Maybe they ran into each other at the Lakeview when she was living with Craig. You know, that could make sense. Wait a minute.
Wait a minute. The INS said something about Simon having a fiancé. I thought they had their facts wrong, but what if that, that hearing has nothing to do with his deportation? What if... What time is the hearing set an for? An hour from now. And you don't know where Simon's been? No, 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 no. We have to get to the courthouse. That's all I know. That's where he's going to be. And that's what we're going to do as soon as we pick up Margot. If anybody can talk sense into Katie, it's her. Well, we better make it fast, because if we don't get there in time, it may be too late for anybody to stop that wedding. Let's go. But you seem to be suggesting that my sister has some kind of connection to this illegal alien. Connection? Miss Peretti told me she and Mr. Fraser were engaged. Excuse me? Like, I begin to get the impression you and your sister aren't very close. Well, uh, we have had our moments, but I'm sure if she were engaged, she would have at least mentioned it to me. So, um, what did you say this guy's name was again? Simon Fraser. He's an Australian, been in this country a little less than a year. Yeah, that's right, the Australian. That was the guy that was stranded on the island with Lily Snyder. Well, you know, Katie did mention something to my husband about a friend that wanted to stay in the U.S., he and Katie are engaged. Wow. I just, I had no idea. And you know what? I don't think so. I, so I'm going to get to the bottom of this. So you're telling me you know nothing whatsoever about these plans? Are, are you saying that I would deliberately mislead you? No, of course not. But if I were you, I'd kiss and make up with that sister of yours. Make sure she understands the consequences if this engagement were to culminate in something more serious. You see, we INS types, we don't look too kindly on people who get married just to get green cards. And I know you don't want to be visiting your sister up in the state prison. I hear the overcrowding. It's gotten really bad up there. Somewhere? There's no need for light, as long as I know where your lips are. Mm, what's so special about my lips? I like the way they feel after I've been kissing you. Mm. <laughs> okay, if... Mm. I guess a little light won't hurt. Um, if we can find that lantern. Right. Mm. Mm. Oh, here it is. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's better. Better for who? What's that supposed to mean? Admit it, stopping gets harder and harder. Not just for me. Um, don't say that. <laughs> because it's true? Because you're embarrassing me. Correct me if I'm wrong. You want it to happen, but you just don't want to be responsible for it. I do huh? want it to happen. I just... I just want to make sure that I'm ready. Not almost ready, or sort of ready, or... You're so hot I want to tear your clothes off ready, but really ready. No doubts. I understand. That's fine with me. Honestly. Really? Yeah. Because a lot of girls wouldn't think twice about it. Look, uh, you know, I, I, I can't help thinking that, that sometimes you wonder what you did wrong to get stuck with me. The only thing I wonder about is how I got lucky enough to find you. Oh, that is so not true. Yes, look, being with all those other girls, touching and, and kissing, doesn't mean anything to them. But you, it's special for you, and I know that. I know it means a lot to you. I know how amazing it's going to be when we finally do decide to take that final step. And all this waiting will have been worth every single moment. <laughs> oh, what was that? I'll tell my dad. I am so dead. You know it's him. Relax. Relax. <sighs> no, who else would it be? You know, who else would come? Okay, where is he? What are you doing here, Katie? Me? What are you doing here? Oh, scratch that. I guess I can figure it out. Um, it's not what you're thinking. You really think I care what you two do with your raging hormones? What I really want to know is, did you chase him away? Who away? Chase who away? Relax, right. Katie. I'm right here. You were here the entire time? Uh, yeah, I'm afraid so. Oh, well, I'm just gonna crawl into a hole now and die. Thank you. Oh, relax, Jen. I've survived much worse. In fact, I'm actually kind of glad that you're here. Someone from my family should be there to wish me well on my wedding day. The guy I spoke to at the newspaper in New York ended up faxing me a copy of the original photo. No caption or anything, just a picture of Julia with an older man at a charity benefit. And you don't know who the man is? Didn't look familiar. 
You're going to call the newspaper back, right? Have them send you a copy of the caption. Why would I do that? So you can figure out who the man is and why Stenbeck will want you to see him with Julia. What's there to figure out? Stenbeck sees a picture of my wife with another man, assumes it's going to start trouble, so he sends it my way. So you don't, you don't even care who the guy is? I don't think Julia had a fling with him, if that's what you mean. No. No, that's not what I'm saying. I just... Wouldn't you want to know who it was? Just in case. In case what? Just on the off chance that maybe Julia is, is trying to hide something. What? You're not getting the point. Just like Stembeck didn't. I, when that picture was taken, Julia and I weren't married. We weren't even seeing each other. So anything that happened between Julia and Mr. X doesn't mean anything to me. Doesn't matter who the guy is. So you're just going to leave it? After all the trouble you went through to get the picture, you're just going to drop it just like that? I know what I need to know. All right. All right, fine. I wouldn't blame you if you never wanted to think about the picture again. Would you mind if I take a look at it? Why? Carly, I just told you that I wanted to drop the thing. No, I know. I was just thinking, though. I've been to New York a bunch of times. I've even been to a few of those benefit things. They're good places to meet people with money who might want to invest. I did have a design business, you know. Yeah, okay. Maybe... I'll recognize the guy. And if you did, it wouldn't matter. So let's drop it. For good. And move on to the real reason why we've been having all these meetings. I still need something solid on Craig Montgomery. You remember that? So that's the only reason you've been meeting? To get dirt on Craig? That's right. So if you don't have anything for me tonight, I really don't see any reason why we have to keep meeting like this. Make cookies? So we're baking up some holiday cheese. Pillsbury sugar and gingerbread cookies. Fun cookies you create and decorate. Spending <laughs> time together, making memories last forever. Merry Christmas! <laughs> My heart to yours. Brita water. Instantly. The Brita faucet filter. Is your asthma really under control? Yes, but I still get short of breath. And you wake up at night wheezing and coughing. I just use my fast-acting inhaler. But you use it almost every day. Is that what you call control? Ask your doctor if Flovent is right for you. Prescription Flovent twice a day helps control the inflammation that can cause everyday asthma symptoms. Even helps improve lung function. Flovent won't replace fast-acting inhalers for sudden attacks. People switching from an oral steroid like prednisone to Flovent, an inhaled steroid, need to be especially careful. While adjusting to the switch, your body is not as able to heal after surgery, infection, or serious injury. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve. Now this is asthma control. There's a new chill in the air. Arctic chill. A new, even colder kind of gum from Dentine Ice. Cooler. Icier. Fresher. Even cooler. Fresher. To take your breath where it's never been before. Dentine Ice. Arctic chill. New from Dentine Ice. Ice at its coldest. When you come to Store Runner to shop, we look in brand name stores you know and trust. Runners, we got a request. Sweater, red, size, medium. Who's up? We're on it! When we find what you want, we give you a wide range of choices from great places like Sears, Brookstone, and the Disney Store. We found great sweaters! Excellent. That was fast. Oh, toys. Now what you want, toys. Go. We're on it! Store Runner. The fastest way to shop your favorite stores. Uh-huh. I just figured it out. Figured what out? Why you really came here tonight. I just told now, you, the Carly. real reason you're here is to bury this thing so deep that I'll leave you alone. Well, it's not going to work, Jack. You are not going to get rid of me that easily. I have no idea what you're talking about. Jack. You used to be a much better liar. That's amazing. 
It really is. You still have the ability to take something that has zero to do with you and twist it all around so that it's all about you. Well, forgive me, Jack, but you were the one who's twisting things around this time. I'm just asking you out about a picture. What is the problem with that? There is no problem. Except I don't have it anymore. Really? Really. What happened to it, Jack? I threw it in the trash. The G-Man destroying evidence. Now, I, why don't I believe that? Okay, it wasn't evidence, okay? Once I saw it was in the picture, it was meaningless. All right, whatever. I would still like to have a look at it. In most libraries, they have old back issues of newspapers, right? They keep them on the... Micro, the wood... microfiche. Exactly, microfiche. So I will go and I will look it up. Maybe I'll even get a copy of the caption. You know, I just need to know when it ran. When was that, Jack? Was it last November or December? Okay, I don't remember the date, all right? And, and I, I also know that it, it's really none of your business. It's Julia's. Why are you so upset, Jack? We're just talking about a picture here when you claim doesn't even mean anything to you. It doesn't. And I don't appreciate being called a liar. Oh, I'm sorry. But if all this means as little to you as you keep saying it does over and over and over again, you wouldn't mind showing it to me. Obviously, there is something in that picture you don't want me to see. Don't try to fool the person who knows you better than anybody. You're hiding something from me, Jack. And I'm gonna find out what it is. You know Simon, don't you? Uh, this is my nephew, Bryant, and his significant other, Jennifer Munson. Hey, nice to meet you. Hi. Look, I'm really sorry I didn't say anything earlier. I'm just being careful at the moment. You're selling a lot of hot water right now, legally speaking. You think you're in hot water now? Hey. Just kidding. Well, congratulations, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Thanks. Well, you know, now that I think about it, it actually is good luck that we all ran into each other here. I mean, what is a wedding without guests? Look, Katie, we really don't need to make this a formal occasion. Oh, I know, but it would be nice if you had a best man. And, Jennifer, you will definitely catch the bouquet. <laughs> well, thanks. Hey, hey. But, um, I, I have to get home. Oh, it won't take long. And we need you guys for witnesses. Fine. Look, you work out the details, all right? I really got to get changed okay. if we're going to make it on time. Yeah, you're right. Uh, should we all drive over to the courthouse together? Um, could you do that somewhere else, please? Look, I'm afraid I don't see any changing rooms around. I promise I won't be a minute. Just turn Katie, your head. I'm really happy you're getting married, if that's what you want. Yeah, of course it is. Right. But I got to be at work in about a half an hour, and then I have to drop Jen off, so I'm really going to have to say no. Oh, but you really can't say no. Why not? Remember last night at Java Underground when I pulled rank on you? Consider this an instant replay. I'm doing it again. Um, you couldn't have seen him at Java Underground last night. He was with me. Oh, yeah, we ran into each other. Right, Bri? Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty late, as I recall. What is she talking about, Brian? Did, did you go there after you dropped me off? I, I can explain. You so... didn't have to work. Why would you go back to Java if you didn't have to work? Look, the truth is that Isaac called me in late, and I had to go in there to, to help him restock the bar. Busy as a beaver. Yep, I came in, and there was my nephew working away. So, do Simon and I have a wedding party? Or don't we? Hey, she's around. Margo, hey. I'm glad you're here. We tried to call first. They said you'd step down. What's up? I don't think you're gonna believe what Katie's up to now. Oh, man. What has my little sister done now? I wonder if she has anything to do with, uh, what Agent Hallowell had to say. Hallowell. He's the INS agent I told you about. Yeah, he's a real swell guy. He told me that my little sister was about to be thrown into a federal penitentiary for aiding and abetting an illegal alien. A guy by the name of Simon Fraser. Is that all he told you? What? There's more? A lot more. We have reason to believe that Simon and Katie are at the Carroll County Courthouse as we oh, speak. Oh, no, they're not getting... Oh. Yeah, they are getting, unless we get over there to stop them. I, I don't believe that kid. What? I even called Mama to try and get her to talk to Katie, to talk some sense into her, but... I guess Katie's just gonna have to learn the hard way. What do you mean by that? I'm gonna have to let her go through with it. No, 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 you can't be serious. Why not? She's gotta learn a lesson somehow. 
And while the newlyweds are trying to figure out what they've gotten themselves into, we can all take bets as to who's going to kill who first. You cannot blame Simon for this. Last I heard, it took two to get married. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I really am. But I cannot let Simon do this to himself. I, I don't want him to be deported, but marrying Katie is not the answer. I cannot let him do this to himself. I'm sorry, Lily. Obviously, this guy does mean a lot to you. Even if I were a complete stranger, I'd have a moral obligation to save him from this marriage. So please, we have to go now. Come on, come with us. Wh See if you can talk some sense into your sister. Uh, all right, I'll go, but I don't know how much good it's going to do. How much time do we have? Not much. We'll take a squad car. Great. You're hot. Excuse me? How about a V8 splash to cool you down? No, thanks. I know what you're thinking. Oh, V8, it must be rich and tomatoey. But in fact, V8 splash is refreshing and fruity. Mm. It is fruity. See what happens when you make judgments based on outward appearance? <laughs> <laughs> now, how about your phone number? No. I thought we learned a lesson here. Fruity V8 splash, a very different V8, now a new diet. Today, I made an omelet. I picked an apple. I sent the facts. This is about chemotherapy and living your life. This is about Procrit. If you're a chemotherapy patient and you feel tired and weak, ask your doctor about Procrit. I played a game. Procrit is a natural way to regain red blood cells lost during chemotherapy. And more red blood cells can mean more strength. I caught a fish. Procrit is safe and effective. In studies, only diarrhea and edema occurred more often with Procrit than placebo. Procrit is for patients with non-myeloid cancers. I went to the store. Call now and learn how Procrit can help you get back the strength you need. Your strength for living. to get portrait creations from Sears Portrait Studio. They make great last-minute gifts, and they can even be personalized. Portrait creations, only from Sears Portrait Studio. Hurry, there's still time. I love my toys, and I love any day when I go out and play. Clock's ticking, and I'm not a kid anymore. So I eat right, stay in shape, and take Fleximin. I don't have time for those achy joints that can slow you down. Maximum strength Fleximin goes right to the source. Fleximin combines glucosamine and chondroitin with the power of MSM, all in one joint support formula that helps rebuild cartilage. Fleximin goes with me wherever I go. Come on, Ben. Maximum strength Fleximin, formulated by Arthritis Research Corporation. Want a snack that won't hold you back? Ah! Try Restics. Two light, crispy wafers covered with peanut butter and pure milk chocolate. Restics, the snack that won't hold you back. A witness to domestic abuse. Let her go. This is my wife. A mother seeking refuge. You said you could help me. CBS tonight. I'm granting the restraining order. Now she's protected from her husband. But why would the court? The children are being removed for their own safety. Take her kids away. What the hell have you done to me? Family Law, CBS tonight. Tuesday on 60 Minutes 2. If you're Irish American, you may wish your family never left Ireland. <laughs> after you see Tuesday's 60 Minutes 2 at 9, 8 Central. She never contested the fact that... I contested. No. Separating truth from fiction. Do you have any clue where I'm going, sir? Not exactly. Well, I'm going to get there quickly. Judge Judy. Today at 4 on CBS 2. There's a company that wants to approve you for a new Visa card. Whether it's Visa Classic to build or rebuild your credit, the prestige of Visa Gold with an even higher credit line, or the purchasing power of Visa Platinum, the only card you'll ever need. The company is Providian, one of the top issuers of Visa cards in the world with over 14 million customers. Whether it's Classic Gold or Platinum, call now and apply right over the phone. Providian will work hard to give you the card that's right for you. Visa from Providian. We approve. Buy Factory Direct. 
The Jewelry Exchange in Tustin has expanded and now has the largest factory showroom in the U.S. We guarantee our jewelry to be the lowest price. Compare Tiffany's one carat invisible bands for over $5,000 with the Jewelry Exchange's GVS quality for $1,600. One carat pendants are $249. Two carat tennis bracelets, $349. And one carat studs, $399. We carry thousands of rings, bracelets, and pendants. We guarantee all our jewelry to appraise for at least double. The Jewelry Exchange in Tustin. Try out for the CBS Summer Global Adventure Series. Call for details. Ted Dance and his Becker, tonight on CBS. It's all here. Look, Katie, you want to marry some guy you hardly even know, that's fine. You want to take my car there, that's great. But I don't see why you need me there. I want you there, Brian. That's really sweet, Katie. But you know what, I got things to do tonight. As in things to do, people to see? Something like that. Well, this person must be very important to miss my wedding. Anyone I know? Isaac. You know Isaac. He doesn't like when I'm late for work. Oh, well, I'm sure Isaac would understand if you had a big family event. So, you'll come, won't you? If it means that much to you, Katie. Jen, I'm really sorry oh, no, about this. Oh, no, it's okay. Really, it's... It is wedding and all, even if it's a really, really strange one. Oh, Simon, looking good. Yeah, well, that's nice, because it feels like a straitjacket. Well, this straitjacket happens to be one of my brother's best suits. And if you knew what I went through to get it, then you wouldn't be complaining. Ready to take the plunge? Yeah. Ready as I'll ever be. Then let the wedding march begin. What's it going to be, Jack? Are you going to be straight with me, or are you going to keep up with this really sad attempt at a lie? I've said everything I have to say. You don't like my answers. That's your problem. All right, well, then I guess I'll have to call Julia. Maybe she can tell me the now, name of the picture. Now, morning, Carly. You stay away from my wife. What? I just want to ask her a question about a picture. I don't understand what the problem is with that. You're the problem. My wife's pregnant. She's really vulnerable right now, and the last thing she needs is you giving her a hard time. Well, I hardly think that me asking her a question constitutes giving her a hard time. Especially since you just told me that you don't care what you did with this man because it was so long ago. Okay, whatever. You do whatever you want. I'm leaving. Because you don't like my questions? Because it's obvious you don't have the answers. Not the ones I'm looking for, about Craig Montgomery. So if you're not going to deliver the goods, I'm not going to waste my time. Why can't you just admit it? Admit what? that you know the truth about the man in the picture. You know, too. Don't you? You've known all along. Why would you think that? You claim you know me so well. Well, I know you too, Carly. I don't understand. I played this close to the vest, and I know I didn't give anything away about that picture. But then again, I didn't have to. Because you've known since the moment you walked in here. And you've been trying your hardest to get me to say his name. So you wouldn't have to admit that you've been digging into my business. That's not true. No, don't fight it, Carly, because I'm about to give you what you want. I'm about to say his name. In fact, why don't you say it with me? Because you're the person who taught it to me in the first place. Winston Lowe. That's who Julia was talking to. I mean... The man who held me prisoner. I mean, the man who used to be your husband. Oh, well. And what was Julia doing with him, or was she too vulnerable to explain that to you? Not that it's any of your business. But when Julia met him at that benefit, she didn't know who he was, or that he even knew you. Well, when she found out, it certainly didn't take her long to sell me out, did it? I hate to disappoint you, Carly, because I know how much you love to play the victim, but Julia didn't sell you out. Your name came up in casual conversation, and once Lowe figured out how to find you, he took it from there. And you believe that? It's what Julia told me. That's... That's just super. Julia creates this ridiculous story to save her rear end, and that's got to be the truth. <laughs> I tell you, the sky is blue, and I must be lying through my teeth. Not necessarily, but if you did tell me the sky was blue, I'd sure as heck look up and check. We reap what we sow, Carly. So, yeah, I'm gonna take Julia's word on this. Don't you understand what's going on here, Jack? Julia wanted us apart. 
When she ran out of options, she tracked Winston down. She arranged this entire thing. And the worst part of it is, she's getting away with it. Here. Are you sure this is the right place? It's the only courthouse in Carroll County. It's got to be it. Well, then why isn't anybody here? Are you sure you got the right date and time? Yeah. Oh, oh, evening, folks. How can I help you? Uh, we're looking for Simon Fraser. He supposedly had an appointment here tonight. Fraser, Fraser, Fraser! Oh, you must be the wedding party. Oh, no, it's true. Well, I guess we found the place. Indeed, you did. Now let's hope the bride and groom find it. Uh, you <laughs> haven't heard from them? Well, not since she made the appointment. But that's not unusual. I'm sure the happy couple will be here any moment to pick up the license and tie the knot. Oh. Uh, could you do me a favor? Could you tell me the other name on the license other than Mr. Fraser's? <laughs> well, it's the bride's name, of course. Um, yes, but we're friends of the groom, so we, we don't know the bride very Right, well. uh, we don't know her that well at all, so we'd just like to get her name right before she arrives. Oh, uh, let me check for you. Uh, Peretti. Catherine. Mm. Does that sound right? Unfortunately. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate that they're not here yet. Well, I know they were coming from Oakdale, so they'll be here soon. Yeah, the bride said she thought our little town was real romantic. Yeah, real far off the beaten track, too. Yeah. Katie, just when you think she's pulled about everything she can pull, she just goes one better. Yeah, well, as soon as the happy couple gets here, we'll put the kapash on all the insanity. Mm -hmm. Do you want your parties to be really special? Try Rocher, the European speciality your guests will adore. Smooth chocolate, crunchy hazelnut, a luxurious taste sensation. It's more of a party with Rocher. In this life, there's just no stopping. No break for a hacking cough, raw sore throat, fever. But there is Theraflu. Fast, soothing hot liquid therapy. Maximum strength Theraflu. Instant comfort, powerful relief. Though dewdrops fall, there's no reason to fear. Because magical rash prevention is here. Huggies Supreme Diapers. Huggies Supreme let air flow through to help keep skin dry and help prevent rash caused by wetness. For little creatures everywhere, it's Huggies Supreme. The ultimate in care. Just in time for the holidays, you can get two great gifts in one. Partner! <laughs> when you buy the fun family film, The Road to El Dorado on video, your kids get a prize. You can win golden dollars, exclusive golden Razor scooters, or one million dollars. Yes! It's the film that gets thumbs up from Roger Ebert in the movies, and critics call it an instant classic. We'll follow that trail. What trail? The Road to El Dorado, a great movie, a prize with every video, two gifts in one, on sale Tuesday. This is the sound of clean. The new battery-powered Colgate ActiBrush is clinically proven to clean teeth better than an ordinary toothbrush. Sounds good, doesn't it? For just $19.99, the new Colgate ActiBrush. The power to clean better. Treat yourself to an alternate state of mind. Taster's Choice Chocolate Roast. The perfect combination of smooth coffee and your favorite flavor. Taster's Choice. The taste of choice. Cannonballs, $129 online. 88 hula hoops, $60 online. Elephant shampoo, $42 online. Not having to pay for any weird charges that show up on your bill? Priceless. With MasterCard, you're not responsible for unauthorized purchases on the web or anywhere. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Good grief! It's the holiday favorite you grew up with. I've killed it. Now, share it again with your family. Don't miss the classic, A Charlie Brown Christmas, CBS Tonight. Judge Amy Gray's clerk is in labor. Oh, we're recessed. And all is running smoothly until... Ah! Will you help me have my baby? No. Plus, did these girls falsely accuse their coach of molestation? I don't take these actions lightly. Amy's next decision could ruin his career or send these children to jail. This is totally excessive. All new Judging Amy, CBS Tuesday. I 
assume you're the groom? Excuse me. What is this? Lily, please, don't make a scene. But out. So... You never left the country? No. What am I supposed to do now? Kiss you or hit you? You're not going to do anything. Tell me the truth. What's going on? There's nothing going on, not if I have anything to say about it, because, Katie, you are not going through with this. Well, Margo, I do not need your permission. I don't need anyone's permission. I'm an adult. I can make my own decisions. And I've decided to marry Simon. Uh, shall I let the judge know you're here? Uh, would you hold on a sec? Look, I don't know what's behind all this. I mean, as far as your motives, I don't know if they're romantic or noble or if you're just trying to help out a friend, but you are making a serious mistake. Well, that's your opinion. No, see, it's the law. You can't marry an illegal alien just to keep him in the country. I love Simon. Oh, give me a break. And no one can prove that I don't. Well, that's what they're going to spend all their time trying to do. And given all the negative publicity you've had recently, I doubt you want your name dragged through the mud again. And the media is going to eat you up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You Katie. think I care what people think? This is not worth it, Simon. Just walk away. Just walk away. I wish it was that simple. Don't really. listen to her, Simon. She's bitter and jealous. <gasps> jealous? Jealous of you? Don't make me laugh. Look, this is not about you getting married. It's about you marrying her. This is trouble. Nothing but trouble. Ask anybody. Ask her own family. You are in way over your head. You could both wind up in serious legal trouble. There's no could about it. Oh, since when are you an expert on immigration law? Since Agent Hallowell of the INS came to visit me in my office and told me all the charges he's going to throw at you if you go through with this. So? So what couple has found happiness without overcoming obstacles? Oh, Katie, what are you doing wrong? Romeo and Juliet? Well, Ray, Katie's not going to listen to reason. But you will. Won't you? I'm just doing what I have to do, Lily. Excuse me. Look, we talked about this. We would fight this battle. Even if you had to be out of the country, we would do this legally, in the courts, and bring you back home, here, where you belong. Look, I have no doubt that you would do that for me, Lily. No doubt at all. Then you can't possibly go through with this, Simon. I'm sorry, Lily. But I have to. Hello, well. Yeah, it's Pendleton. Got an update for you. Go ahead. Mrs. Snyder left police headquarters accompanied by a female cop. Anybody else with them? Only an unidentified male civilian. Any idea where they're headed? Carroll County Courthouse, in a police vehicle. All right. I'm on my way. Gotcha, Frazier. See, this is why I didn't want to tell you about that picture in the first place. Because you knew I'd figure out the no, truth? because I knew you would jump to the wrong conclusions. What makes you so sure I'm wrong? Julia said so? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know how you think. It's what makes you such an amazing cop. You understand human nature. No matter how hard Julia tries to make herself look so pure, she wanted you. And when people want something bad enough, they're willing to do anything. Even if it means trashing someone else's happiness. Just because it's the way you think, Carly, doesn't make it human nature. You just keep telling yourself that. That Julia happening to run into Winston Lowe in a city of eight million people is pure coincidence. But in your heart, you must know how easy it must have been for her to set this whole thing up. It's okay. Okay, let's just say for a second that Julia did set the whole thing up. Well, good, so then you're... you're at least willing to... To consider that it's a possibility. No, like you said, anything's a possibility. But the point is, even if she did plot and scheme to break us up, it wouldn't have made a difference. Of course it would have made no. a difference. If Julia you had still would have been married to the down. man. And sooner or later, I would have found out that you'd been lying to me all this time. So if anything, I should be thanking Julia for saving me from marrying a liar. And you know that it's true, so don't even bother to deny it. No, Jack. This is the truth. If we'd been married first and then Winston found me, you would have done everything in your power to protect me from that maniac. Because you loved me. And you still love me. If you were so sure that I'd stand by you, 
Why didn't you tell me the truth on our wedding day? Why didn't you trust me enough to tell me that you're being taken to Hong Kong against your will? How many times do I have to say it before you believe it? Winston threatened Parker. And you. The two people I love most in the world. All right, so... So I kept my mouth shut and maybe that was wrong, but it wasn't as wrong as what Julia did. Because if your sweet, blameless Julia hadn't tipped Winston off, there wouldn't have been any threats, Jack. And you and I would be married right now. And we'd end up in bed tonight, instead of trapped in this nightmare. Talk to your doctor today, or visit Prozac.com. Welcome back. to your doctor today or visit Prozac.com. Welcome back. You're still using Hershey's syrup to make chocolate milk? Yeah, why? Syrup's great on ice cream, but for chocolate milk, rich chocolate Ovaltine's better. It tastes great, plus has vitamins. Hershey's syrup doesn't. This chocolate milk's awesome! More Ovaltine, please! Ralph? Ralph, come here. Give me a hand. Good boy. Scotch Brand brings you pop-up tape strips. They free up both hands, so wrapping's never been easier. Pop-up tape strips from Scotch Brand. Would you like to see what we do? Each day where my little brother and I play. This is where we live in the house that's filled with love. Good night, sleepyhead. The loving family dollhouse, only from Fisher Price. Time to cook. Open that book. Hi. This is Chef Tony. Let's get cooking. How about spaghetti? That sounds yummy. Can't talk now. We're cooking. What's next, Tony? Now add the meatballs. Good job. The Talking Chef Kitchen, only from Fisher Price. Talk about fun with food. How's that? All right. Oh, the possibilities. I just want my cold sore to go away sooner. Introducing non-prescription Abriva. It starts to work at the tingle to shorten healing time. It really works? Only Abriva has Docosinol, approved by the FDA to shorten healing time. New Abriva. Start to heal it as soon as you feel it. I like that. Ooh, tough day. Yeah. What you eat? Beef noodle soup. Condensed soup? <laughs> I used to eat that too back when I played with dolls. You're an adult now. There's a better taste of soup. New Progressive Beef and Mushroom has big chunks of tender steak, portobello mushrooms, pasta, and hearty vegetables, all with just the right seasonings. See the difference? Hmm, this is better. See? And how about that tie? It's time to go to the better taste of Progresso. Tonight, on a very merry Monday, the King of Queens welcomes Lou Ferrigno for Christmas. You want to paint each other green? Then, nobody celebrates the holidays like Ray's family. Put your glasses on, you're blind. And what would be the upside of seeing you more clearly? And when Becker hits the mall, meet the grouch who stole Christmas. I'm in hell. It's all new holiday fun, CBS Tonight. I'm not asking for much, Jack. All I want is for you to admit just once that if it weren't for Julia, you and I would be as happy together as we always dreamed we'd be. No, give it up, Carly. You're not going to get what you're after. She did a terrible thing. And you won't even admit it. No, you're wrong. I admit Julia made a mistake. And what's more, I've already forgiven her for it. Just like that. That's what husbands and wives do. They honor their vows. They forgive each other. So you can skip all this talk about pictures and conspiracies and, and fairy tales gone wrong, because I love my wife. That's a really impressive speech. But before you walk away into the sunset, I, I have a speech of my own. Save it, Carly. I know, I know. Game over. But please, at least... Give me a chance to review the score. Fine, but you know what? It's not going to change anything. First of all, even if it's true that Julia never even heard the name Winston Lowe before that benefit in New York, don't you find it a little curious that she didn't even mention it afterward? 
And whether she did it on purpose or not, Julia is the one who made it possible for Winston to find me. Did she mention that to you? No. She hid it from you. She kept that secret for, what, for almost a year, Jack? No, oh, I, I guess we can call those lies of omission, but then... There's still the little matter of the faxes I sent to you from Hong Kong, desperate for help. Julia kept those from you, too, didn't she? Even though my life was in danger. You're covering old ground. We've been over all this. All right, well, that, that's, let's cover something new then, Jack. It's a little touchy, but since we're taking off the gloves... What are you getting at? The surprise pregnancy. The one she sprang on you. Even though you weren't ready for it? Don't you dare tell me how I feel about my child! I'm not saying that you don't want the baby or that you will be anything less than a wonderful father. All I'm saying is that she neglected to, to include you in a very, very important decision that a couple makes, right? Look, I'm not trying to, to throw salt into your wounds. I'm just trying to understand something. I'm trying to understand why Julia can tell lie after lie after lie after lie, and somehow I end up being the dishonest one, and she ends up being beyond reproach. So what do you want me to do, Carly? Want me to give you a medal because you haven't lied to me lately? No. I don't want any medals, Jack. I just want the respect I deserve. My life was stolen from me. That hurts. So maybe you could just say, well, Carly, it's what you've been saying all along. And I guess you've been telling the truth. Mm. What truth is that? Because you know what? I lost count. I didn't want to leave you on our wedding day, Jack. I didn't have a choice. I was forced to go. No, yeah, you just neglected to tell me that you were married. And all the years we've known each other, you just never once felt the need to mention it. I don't know why. Because I was never really married to Winston. Not in my heart. In my heart, you were the only one. You'll always be the only one. I'm sorry, Curly. Thank you. You don't know how long that I have waited to I hear I am sorry that, that I can't tell you what you want to hear. I can't. Because you told a few select truths tell you that everything's okay. And I don't know when it happened or, or why. But whatever I felt for you is gone. That I'm sorry. that I'm doing something so drastic. Yeah, it's even stupid. Is that this may be my one last chance to stay here in Odell, to be near you. I thought we talked about this already. We decided that you would leave the country until we could figure out a way legally to get you back Okay, here. that's logical, that's sensible, I agree. But do you know when logic and sense went out the window, Lily? The minute you told me you loved me. I couldn't do it. There is no way that I could let them drag me no, away I after can't that. can't let them take you away. It's just, it's killing me. Then you understand how I feel. I, what I don't understand is her. How is Katie? How is, how is she a solution? She wanted to help. That's all. She offered me an alternative. An alternative that can work. That is all this wedding is about. Uh, everybody's waiting. We can't be rude. And I think oh. it's a little too late to be having this discussion. You know, you really are the queen of appropriate, aren't you? Well, at least I know how to put my needs aside for the sake of someone that I care about. If you weren't so petty, you would back off and do the same oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, well, how about backing off? How about backing off and setting your sights on somebody that's not involved with me? Maybe if you could make up your mind about which one you wanted, then I wouldn't always have to be there to take the pieces. Funny. I've lost all desire I ever had to catch Katie's bouquet. 
Gee, I can't imagine why, John. You know, in fact, if we stay any longer, I think I might spur off love for good, so, um... Well, in that case, we're getting out of here. Come on. Please. Look, I hate to put a damper on this lovely occasion. Katie, you've got plenty of witnesses here, it seems, so... We're gonna, uh, head out of here. But, Brian, you said no, you were gonna... No, that's okay. You go ahead, because there isn't gonna be a wedding here today. Then, best of luck, everybody, with whatever. Bye. Yeah, it's been real. Fine, we can still get married without them. You can, but you won't. There's not gonna be a wedding, Katie. Well, that is not up to any of you. That is up to me and Simon. <clears throat> Simon Fraser, Catherine Peretti. There seems to be a wedding on my schedule this evening. Well, are we ready to begin? Nature replenishes herself four times a year. We recommend six, because the fresher your Brita filter, the cleaner your water. Brita water, tap water transformed. Is it possible to fit everything? Visa from Providian.